Hey guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com doing a video review for you guys on Mozilla Firefox 4. It was just released yesterday and I decided to do a quick walkthrough and overview of Mozilla Firefox. Um, it is one of the industry leading standard browsers out there. They were the first one to implement tabs and having this customized UI that you can really take part and change how you like it. Um, going into this fourth version, uh, we can really see a lot more differences uh, between 3.5, which was the latest, and 4. Um, major difference is this new UI that's more streamlined. Uh, all the bulk is really taken out of it, and it's just this browser that is, has been working much faster than browsers that I'm used to, um, such as Internet Explorer. Um, it's very fast and is actually, it could be able to compete with Google Chrome, um, but I'm not sure about where they are yet because they're so streamlined and um, there's many different aspects. You can't really gauge if Chrome or Firefox is better. Uh, I guess we'll have to see out in the long run what really works. So as soon as you install Firefox 4, you get this nice setup page and it kind of introduces you to the browser. Um, you can meet the first Firefox by watching the short video. And what really is amazing, if you go and look at step two, they really give you what the changes are. So starting off first is this new menu toolbar. Um, it's a one-click menu toolbar that has everything that you could possibly want or need to do while you're browsing. Um, you can save pages, send links, print, you know, all, all that stuff that you're used to. Um, set, sync your data, exit, which is really nice. Um, and then all we see here is um, there's no URL. The, this URL bar is... Um, better than before because they've really streamlined how it works and what happens and um, if you know Google Chrome it's like the Google Instant. You can start typing in stuff and it'll give you search suggestions um, which is really neat. Um, next is the add-on manager. Firefox has been known for their add-ons uh, both UI and extensions that really help you in your daily life. Um, one of my favorite extensions is the Bitly um, extension where I can click it once and it will shorten my link um, that's in my toolbar and I can easily tweet it or share it or whatever needs to happen. Um, and they have a vast marketplace of all these add-ons um, that are approved and commented by the community. So you really know what you're getting into when you decide you want to get that add-on. Um, another new feature is the reloading of the pages. Um, it's been combined into a single button now, so there's not the stop and refresh button. It's one click, it'll stop and refresh, and it's done, which is really nice because we're seeing all these browsers really um, bringing everything into one button or consolidating tasks. Um, major difference, your home button has moved. We all are used to having our home button on the left hand side next to the back and forward button. But now we have this home button that's right up here in the corner where it's kind of just sitting there. And it's kind of like, hey, I'm, a <laughs> I'm just sitting there waiting for you to use me. And it, that's all right. Um, and so basically this roadmap of your toolbar um, really kind of gets you going uh, when you get on here and kind of really look. Um, you know, your tabs, uh, your password manager, they have a built-in password manager. Uh, you can have a customized toolbar. So again, um, if, you don't, if you don't really like the streamlined look and you want your old kind of custom buttons and toolbars back, you can definitely add those in. Um, you know, personas, again, if you know what a persona is with the Firefox, it's uh, it doesn't have to be this arrow glass um, like I have on Windows 7. It could be your favorite picture or your favorite um, sport. You can have whatever you want on there. Um, your bookmarks, 
Mozilla has done an awesome job of really consolidating your bookmarks, which is awesome. Um, I love them for that, and it, it, it helps out a lot when you have tons of bookmarks and you're relying on those bookmarks daily for what you do. And again, with your sync, um, just like Google's sync program, Firefox sync is the same. It can sync your passwords. Um, it can sync your top sites, your history, your add-ons. Um, your favorites, what, whatever you have that you choose to go to it, it can save it inside. Um, you know, and I keep really have to go back to this UI. This UI is amazing. Um, and kind of show you guys how this instant search works, that everybody loves to do this. Um, I'm going to search for my website. Actually, I'm going to search for me. So I'll start signing, uh, putting in my name, and you'll see um, it'll start finding things that uh, have my name in it. So I can just type in my name Creighton and what it'll do is it'll say okay I will go to your default search engine and I will really just insert that in there and show you results uh, which is really nice. So you can see my Twitter some guy named Creighton Bierman don't know where he came from uh, and my website. Um, again Loading on these pages is amazing. It's fast, it's simple, and it's bam, it's just right there. Um, you can see I just loaded that page in, in just a couple seconds and I can quickly scroll through it, uh, right click on it, and I can, you know, if I want to open up a new tab, these new tabs open up so fast, um, even if you have a slow internet connection, which is awesome. Um, if you don't have that fast of internet connection and you're just looking for that minimal browser, that won't take up um, what you're doing. And looking at the back end, which I think everybody should do once in a while, you have your options. Um, again, these general settings that you know may not look too much like a bore to you, but it's actually um, amazing for you to do. Um, you have you know your, your general settings, your tabs. You know most of this is um, the same really. There's nothing that much different except for the sync you can set up Firefox sync create a new account and this is all of your sync servers um, you can choose what you want to sync so your bookmarks passwords preferences history tabs um, you can name your computer uh, you have all of these different features that you can use to sync up um, what I really like is their new add-on manager this is amazing I love this add-on manager so you know, if you remember Firefox 3.5, their an their add-on manager was this little tiny box that you didn't really like. Um, but now they've made it a full-fledged window, and you can search and see what's new, um, and see, you know, what's happening. Um, here are the personas again, which are really nice, and you can see I'm hovering over this, and it's actually loading up a preview for me. So if you see my top bar now, you can see the little flower persona that I have up there. Um, I can hover over this one, Firefox B, and you can see the little Firefox icon there. Um, again, there's all of these add-ons. Firefox 4 was just officially released, so it'll take a little while if you've already used Firefox to get your custom add-ons back. Um, you know, some might not work, some might do, um, but this manager does so much to really help you uh, with managing that and making sure everything is compatible. Um, everything's one click install. You can see all of your extensions. You can see what I have. I have just the normal extensions here. Um, I don't have any appearances and uh, again your your plugins. And you have settings for this as well. You can check all of your add-ons for updates. You can view what's happening. If you have a custom add-on that might not be in the extension manager but you want to um, install it, you can search for it from a file. Um, and you can set up all these settings in this one window and it's amazing that they've taken that and simplified it into a, a better task. So overall Firefox has hit the ball. They are amazing um, at what they do and one of the major reasons why I switched from Firefox 3.5 to Google Chrome was because of its speed 
and um, it just bogged down my system so much because of memory leaks and all that fun stuff that I don't want to get into. But now Firefox 4, it's calling me back and I want to go back. I mean, look at the UI. It's, it's amazing. It's streamlined. It's small and I can just work around it. Um, I, I live in a fast-paced environment and Firefox 4 has really brought that to you and helped you with that a lot. And I encourage everybody who uses Google Chrome or please, God, whoever uses Internet Explorer to please change your browser to either Firefox or Google Chrome. Firefox is amazing. Give it a try. Download it. Mozilla.com. Um, if you have any questions for me or my experience about using Firefox 4, you can email me. Creighton at LogicLounge.com. You can also add comments to this YouTube video that I will respond back if you have any questions or comments or whatever you guys like. Subscribe to me on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash logic lounge. Subs uh, subscribe to me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Creighton, and you can follow the official Twitter for Logic Lounge at twitter.com forward slash logic lounge. And you can view this video post and all these other posts right here at logiclounge.com. We'll uh, until our next video, we'll see you guys later.